So welcome back, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Now, that's just a few of the spells that we've seen, but uh, Zoe, uh, we did a bit of our own work on the magic there. We did, we dabbled in a bit of magic, ladies and gentlemen. Dabbled there, so. (laughs) The one that I did, I did the Basil spell. Um, So it's meant to bring you good luck and fortune. Um, So it's to bring the luck of Lakshmi's protection. So, so you bring her protection and presence um, by putting basil uh, in a jar or just take a basil plant that you have and you push it like near the front of your door and you just, you're meant to nurture it because the more that you nurture the plant, the more you, then you nurture your luck and your wealth. So I didn't have a basil plant, but I had ground basil. So I just like, we have a little video there of me doing it. So um, let's just cut right to that. Okay, so I am trying the basil spell, number one. The Lakshmi's Tulsi or Lakshmi's Tulsi, however it's pronounced. And it's supposed to bring protection and an essence of luck and wealth. And I think in this day and age right now, we all need a little bit of it. So I have myself a jar, empty jar, and I don't have the basil before it's like grinded down, but I'm going to be using a green cuisine basil, not sponsored. So all you need to do is is just put a little bit of basil in, or depending on how much look and wealth you want, fill the whole jar if you need to. Um, But I'll just put a little bit in like that. And apparently you're supposed to nurture the basil and the more that you nurture it, the more it will nurture your look and wealth. Um, Need to leave this by a door though for it to work. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm by a door, my main door, and I'll just take the basil, leave it there, nurture it. So, um, there, there, basil, you're doing great. And see what happens in a couple of days. So, yeah, (laughs) (laughs) left it there for a couple of days. Um, kind of hard to nurture a jar, as you may have seen. So I just, I just kind of gave it a little pat, <laughs> um, just gave it some encouraging words. And I mean, not gonna lie, nothing bad happened to me in those couple of days. Like, so I don't know whether it worked or I don't know, but you're a wizard, Harry. Nothing I'm a bad has happened man. so far. Yeah. So that was my basil one. It worked like. Easy enough to do. And then Zoe, you do- you a little bit of dabbling in the magic there yourself? <laughs> I, I know I dabbled in something a little different. I did it, uh, I dabbled in divination. So I was like homage to our McGonagall uh, <laughs> in homage. Um, so I did a divination spell and it involves um, pieces of paper with the alphabet on it. I just did it double-sided because I'm lazy and don't want to turn over pieces of paper. But it's alphabet divination one, um, basic method, of course. Um, And this particular method is popular in both Asia and Italy. So I thought that was fun. I was like, well, let's go. So I I actually, I have it here. (laughs) Handy dandy. It's in a little butter beer mug. (laughs) Um, So I also have a video on this. Divination, alphabet spell, basic method one, I think it's called. Um, I don't even have the book open, I don't know why I'm looking. So I wrote out the alphabet today, I only have a non-secure container, aux, so butterbeer mug will have to do. Um, so I wrote out the alphabet, I made it double-sided so when it falls I don't have to go flipping pages over, but that's a C, as you can see. Oh my god, dad jokes, Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna ask a question, and hopefully there'll be some divine intervention, and we'll get an answer. So, who is the hottest Watcher Potter 
podcast host. Let's go. Come on. Okay, they're all gone. All right, fab. Okay, so I'm getting a very clear message here. It says Zoe. <laughs> I graciously accept. But it also says JK, it's me. So, a bit awkward. I'll take a picture of what it looks like now because I am on selfie mode and it'll just be a bit awkward. But this is what it looks like. Bit of bit of a mess, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, that was divination, the alphabet spell. Like, and we're back. And we're I back. hope that was fun, everybody. <laughs> it was a bit of fun. I did have a bit of fun with it, asking all these random questions, like, "What's for dinner?" Um, <laughs> didn't get that right, sadly. But you know, um, we tried. Uh, it's kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie, especially if all the paper falls in a pile on top of each other. You kind of feel guilty trying to like, you know, move it and accidentally form a word. But I had some good fun. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. If any of y'all want to dabble in a bit of magic yourself, feel free. Chuck a bay leaf in the corner. Nurture your basil plant or dabble in the arts of divination. So like, just go for it. I mean, no time like the present. What else are we going to do? I know. Yeah, that's it. And sure, what better way just to end off this little spell section of our podcast with like a little bit of crystals, you know, a little bit of shine. So, Zoe. I was looking at a few chapters and I noticed an odd chapter, I must say. I wasn't expecting it, but it's called court case spells, legal spells and spells for justice. So if anyone's doing law in UCG or law and business for even for that matter, um, I found some crystals that could help you in your work. Now, a lot of the other spells involved beef tongue, so I avoided that. Not my style. Um, we have a few crystals to empower all charms by charging and consecrating them, um, the crystals, prior to initial use and then cleansing as needed. So this is to ho- hopefully help you win your cases, I guess. Um, so first we have... Oh. <laughs> That's like such an awkward thing. Chalcedony, and you must... It must be pierced and strung on a donkey hair tail, renders the wearer fortunate in legal matters. So I assume just kind of put a donkey hair through there, maybe wear it as a necklace, bracelet maybe, an anklet, I guess, if you want to keep it like low key under the suit. Um, But yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. Hang on, can we pause it there for a second? I need to look up Chelsea Donnie again. (laughs) So that's fun. I the donkey hair maybe as long as the donkey like agreed to it, you know, consent was given. Um, I think that that could be a goer if you're willing to wear donkey hair. Um, the next one we have is hematite, and hematite protects and assists all legal situations wear or carry on the body. And um, I have actually a little piece of hematite here because we're a fun family like that. Um, I don't know if you can the camera will focus on it, but <laughs> um, it's kind of like a metal metallic looking stone. Um, it's kind of fun. Uh, very shiny, very nice. So I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So supposedly, if you wear this and it protects and assists, assists all legal situations. And I was like, very nice. Hopefully, you don't need to use these. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just in case, let's let's just like you know get a repertoire for some. And lastly, we have some malachite. So you you could wear a malachite bead necklace, protects against litigation. But if that's too late. Malachite is still beneficial. It also brings courtroom success. And I also have Malachite here. It's a really, it's a big piece of Malachite, but um, it's a green stone. I don't know if it will, I don't know. Maybe you can get a hint of green off that. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of pretty, kind of sharp. I'm not gonna lie, the thing that I have here is kind of sharp. Um, but it's a very cute green stone. I really like the vibes it gives off. Hopefully that will bring you court success if you're too late for your litigation. So yeah, those were crystals for the courtroom. Very nice. Now all I need to do is go find some donkey hair. Then yeah, I mean, just source the donkey and you're sorted. Yeah. So that was our little spell section. Encyclopedia of spells. Yeah, the encyclopedia of spells. Hope you all enjoyed it. And Emma, thank you so much again for coming on, giving us a little... It was fun, guys. It was very fun. Round of applause for Emma there. <laughs> yeah, boss for Emma. <laughs> Emma, head of Gryffindor. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Emma. We appreciate it. All right. Second half. Okay. We know what that means. Fan fiction. (laughs) 
So we've got our lovely oh, yeah. guest here that sourced our fan fiction for us. Guest, would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Zoe. So, hello. My- <laughs> 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 